It was a perfect week of weather in Berlin for the 29th Qatar Telecom German Open. The crowds flocked to the Steffi Graf Stadium and so did the media. The tournament is owned by the Qatari State Telecommunications Company, so there was a lot of Middle Eastern media interest in the event. A stunning lineup of players came to Berlin, all vying for a piece of the $1.3 million purse, including the world number one, Justine Ennan. It was all smiles off the court, but on court was a different story. In the first of many shocks to come in the tournament, Ennan was beaten by the 13th seed, Dinara Safina of Russia. World number six, Serena Williams, was also keen to get on the clay in Berlin, but before she did, she checked out the fascinating city. Yeah, I had a day off yesterday, I enjoyed it. I went to the Berlin Wall, and then I went to the aquarium, and then I just relaxed and I had a lot of fun. It was good, it was a good day. The number one doubles duo, Cara Black and Liesl Huber, also had a tour of the city with a local guide. And on court, they were also heading towards the final. The fun in the sun was soon to end for Serena Williams. Her 17-game winning streak was brought crashing to a halt by Safina the girl who's quickly becoming the tour's giant killer. Next on the Russians' hit list was Victoria Azarenka from Belarus. A straight sets victory proved Dinara was ready for her first final of the year. Safina's performance was the talk of the tournament, but at the players' party, the subject didn't stray far from fashion. A doubles veteran, Renee Stubbs, tried her hand at being a roving reporter. She's always in a beautiful outfit. What are you wearing? I thank you. Uh, it's Mac Jacobs dress and uh, yeah, so I, I think it's nice to get out of the sports gear, you know, once in a while and get a chance to wear high heels, you know, something else besides the tennis shoes. So uh, this is our opportunity and you might as well use it. Ivanovic looked good on the court too. The second seed made it to the semi-finals where she faced old foe Elena Dementieva. In three prior meetings, Anna has never been able to overcome the Russian. And Saturday wasn't to be her day. Dementieva booked her place in the final with a straight sets victory. The all-Russian thriller and beautiful weather on finals day pulled in the crowds in Berlin. Everyone wanted to see if Safina could keep up her top 10 slaying run. Dementieva took the first set 6-3, but Safina came back and won the second and third, both 6-2. The Qatar Telecom German Open is her first Tier 1 title. The big win will move her up to number 14 in the latest WTA rankings. And her performance on the clay all week has ensured she's going to be the one to watch in Rome and at the French Open.